Yeah. Yeah, I would take the square root. Yeah. Oh, Stephen, I got to go. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, I think it would evaporate under those conditions. Yeah. Okay, I got to go. Okay. Okay, okay, bye. bye. Sorry, sorry. Um, it's Hawking, it's a long story. Uh, what are we? Momentum, yes. This week, here we are. This week, we are starting on momentum. We can define momentum very simply as mass times velocity. Well, we know this is a scalar. This is a vector. When you multiply scalar times a vector, you get a vector. So it's a vector quantity, which we represent with a small p for momentum. And the unit is kilogram meters per second, mass times velocity. Let's see. It's a vector quantity, but if you're doing something simple like um, a falling mass, that's really a one-dimensional problem, right? So if you have a mass here, it's moving down with some velocity v. Of course, the velocity is increasing in this case. But still, you might just write p equals mv. So if you're doing one dimension, you might not keep up with all the formal vector notation. You may just think of these as um, the, the component in one dimension. But of course, if you're doing two dimensions, then you have to keep up with the vector part. So 2D motion. Right, so say we have our plus x and our plus y. And here we have a mass, maybe a tau. And it's moving with some velocity vector like that, which you could break into components. Well, its momentum vector will always be in the same direction. So if here's the same x and y and Hal's in the same position, then the momentum vector will be the same direction, not necessarily the same size, because it's a different unit. So the magnitude depends on what the quantity is, what unit it's in. But I could draw it like that. Because all we're doing is taking this velocity vector that contains the direction information and changing its magnitude by multiplying it by mass. So in terms of vectors, the vector p equals mv. But if you need to break it into components, the x component of the vector is just the mass times the v component, or times the x component of the velocity. And the y component of the vector momentum is just the mass times the y component of the velocity. So that's the basics. Now let's see what we can do with momentum.